Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. Elle and I are gonna run some errands today. A lot of last minute errands to run before we go to Disney. I have a whole list of little things that I need to get. It's already almost one o'clock. So my mom is gonna pick Lucy up for me and hang out with her until we get back. I'm very grateful for because Shane is out of town all week for work. I'm not gonna post this until he gets home just for safety reasons. That's just how I go yeah. about it whenever he's out of town for work. But since he's out of town, I slept terribly last night. The first night whenever he's gone, I never sleep well. I sleep terribly actually. Last night was no exception. I pretty much tossed and turned all night long and then I woke up bright and early. You're ready. So now we're gonna go run these errands. I also grabbed an iced matcha with strawberry while I was out because I'm just in a sassy mood today. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even been sassy to anybody because I haven't really talked to anyone. Oh, you found that, good. She was looking for that, huh? Bring it up here and we'll remember to give it to her. In my head, I'm just a very sassy person with not as much patience as I usually have. I had any issue with that with the girls. Um, like getting Lucy ready for school this morning was totally fine and Stella has been amazing all day today. So it's not that, I'm just like sassy in my head. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but yeah, I made the mistake of spending a decent amount on headphones for Stella um, over Christmas. I bought her a pair that I think were like $25 and they were broken a month later. So I've learned my lesson. We're just gonna stick to the $5 headphones cause they're probably gonna get broken anyway. So we're gonna go grab a couple pairs of those and then maybe a couple things for their backpacks for the airplane. And then we're gonna head over to Target. Okay, Steli picked out these Encanto headphones, so I'm gonna get them for both the girls, but I'm also gonna get them another set as we do go through them. So we're gonna get two pairs of these two. It's just easier for them to be the same. And then they don't have to argue about it, huh? We're at Target now. Stella is back here eating some puffs that she got at Five Below because she said her belly was growling. We went into Five Below. I ran into Old Navy. really do not have a lot of tank tops and I wanted one for Disney, there's someone pulling in right next to me. <laughs> this woman can barely open her door. There's so much room on the other side of her. As I was saying, really wanted to find a tank top to go with some of the shorts that I'm wearing at Disney. So I found these little tank tops and I ended up getting a large. I tried on a medium and a large and the medium fit fine, but the large was just a little roomier. So I decided to go with that. So I got this black one. They're nice because they're a little cropped. So I'm gonna wear them like tucked into high-waisted like athletic shorts. I'm going comfy this trip. I love all the really cute Disney outfits, but I'm I'm just going comfy. So I'm wearing athletic shorts or biker shorts every day. And then I also got this cute little workout shirt. It's just cropped. I love these Old Navy ultralight shirts, like this material. Both of these shirts were full price. This was $16.99 and this was $12.99, which I do not enjoy paying full price for things at Old Navy, like at all. But I really liked them and wanted them for a trip. When we went up to the front, she was like, do you have any super cash? I remembered that I actually did have super cash in my email from when I took my sister shopping last week. So I had super cash to spend. She said that I get $20 off if I spend 50. So then I went and got the blue of this little rib tank top and then this like heather gray. I got all of this for $30 when just those two shirts originally were gonna be almost $30. I'm glad she mentioned super cash because I don't think that I have literally ever used super cash from Old Navy, but I got to use it today. Lulu, what did we just do? I got another tooth out. What? Here you go. We recorded it on my phone to send to Shane, but she had a really, really loose tooth when she was going to brush her teeth, and we just pulled it out. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> this and is her little. This is what do you call this, Lulu? What do you call this? A tooth luggage. What do you call it? A tooth luggage. Tooth luggage. <laughs> so we put the tooth in here, and then it goes under your pillow, huh? In your tooth case. Grammy got that for you. It is way later now, it's 7.51. Stella and I got home from running all of our errands. I just had a headache and laid on the couch with the girls and hung out with them. And then before bed, Lucy was going to brush her teeth and she was like, mommy, this tooth is so loose. Like I think it's ready to come out. And we pulled it out. The reaction to losing a tooth is like the cutest thing ever. I'm so obsessed with it. I posted a reel over on my Instagram of the video that I took for Shane because it was so cute. If you want to see it, go to my Instagram. It's just at Marissa Albert. Adorable. 
it is cold in my house right now. I don't know what I have the thermostat set at, but I had to put a sweater on because I'm chilly. I really wanna go take a shower, but I have tooth fairy duties before I can get in the shower and I am very extra. I put glitter on Lucy's tooth fairy money. This time she's getting $2. Lucy lost her first tooth last month and we gave her $6 because that's really the only cash I had. But we did tell her that the tooth fairy always gives more money for the first tooth. Apparently, if you guys don't do the tooth fairy, that's fine. We do. I don't care. Whatever works for you. We told her that the tooth fairy always gives more money for the first tooth and then not as much for the other teeth. So she knows now she's getting two glittery dollars this time. These dry. Lucy has her tooth underneath her pillow. She is a very heavy sleeper, so I should have no problem getting the tooth out. I didn't have an issue at all last time, so um, I'm going to let these dry while I take a shower. Stella's still awake anyway, so I can't go up there right now, but um, I will stick those under her pillow before I go to bed. Getting ready to go put the tooth fairy money under Lucy's pillow, but I got a package in from Lululemon, and I thought I'd show you because they have this really cute like periwinkle belt bag. Link this for you if it's in stock. Who knows if it is. They always sell out so fast, but I love this color. I love it so much. Here we go. We gotta be really quiet. was a close one. I almost got caught. Lucy put her tooth so far back in her pillow and I couldn't find it. And then she felt me and moved and felt the bunny. But luckily, like I said, she's a very heavy sleeper and I was eventually able to find it. I got the money under there and then I dropped the tooth. <laughs> I can't find it. It's in their shag rug somewhere, so I don't think she'll see it in the morning. I looked for a couple minutes and couldn't find it. So there's a tooth in the rug upstairs. It was a little bit of a fail, but um, I got it done. I, now I'm in my PJs. I washed my hair. I did a full shower. I blow dried it a little bit, still kind of wet. And then I self tanned. So I'm going to wake up tomorrow looking a little bit more bronze. 9.55 and I'm going to turn on my red light. Lay here for a little bit and read my book. I have some laundry in the dryer that I want to fold before I go to bed. So um, I'm going to read for a little bit until that is done. Red light on my hatch makes my camera lighting go crazy. So I will see you in the morning. I could have cleaned off my glasses before I clicked record, but I didn't. Hello, it's the next day. It is not the morning. It's actually 2.30, so I'm getting ready to go pick my kids up from school. I wanted to film my Disney World haul today. I was also going to start packing and filming that too. It is such a gloomy day today. It's been raining all day and it's starting to freeze, so hopefully the roads are okay when I go pick up the girls. I assume they're fine. They haven't gotten out of school early or anything. I wasn't super excited about filming that video with the lighting in its current state because it just kind of makes everything look yellow and a little off. But I'm waiting on a couple of Amazon packages and usually I get my Amazon packages like first thing in the morning and then my mail comes later in the day and I haven't gotten those orders yet. It says arriving today by 8 p.m. My Amazon stuff not being here and the lighting just not being good. I decided that I'm just gonna do it all tomorrow. Film it all while Stella is home with me tomorrow. Today I've just been going on like a cleaning spree all around my house. I'm getting all the laundry done. Um, just getting random things done so that they will be completely finished and I won't have to worry about it later in the week. Worked out in the garage for about an hour, so I got that done. Now we're here at almost 2.40, so I need to go get my kids from school. We're just gonna come home and hang out for the rest of the night. I don't see us going anywhere. I don't think the roads are gonna get any better. I think they're only gonna get worse. And Shane is still gone. He's not gonna be home until tomorrow night, so we miss him and we're ready for him to come home. But I figured I would pick this video up now and see where it takes us. I also brought down some of the girls' Disney stuff that I need to pack, so 
I'm getting started on that, but I'm gonna film a full pack with me tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna film it over the next few days. I'm not gonna be done tomorrow. I just remembered something that I need to add to my to-do list. I need to water all my plants before we leave. So I need to do that. Also, my hands are orange. Orange and orange, hold on. Um, mm, yeah, they're orange. I used my Tanologist mousse like normal and I love that stuff. It's only like 20 bucks and it works really well. I used that all over my body. It looks great, very even. And then I used my tanning drops on my face and my neck. And my face and my neck look good. They look good. My hands, like when I rubbed it all in, I don't know what happened. It just got so aggressive so fast. And I washed and scrubbed my hands like probably 15 minutes after I got all of my self tanner done. So yeah, it worked quick. So if you get the Isle of Paradise, is that what they're called? What those are called yes that's what they are the isle of paradise tanning drop just be very careful wash your hands like three times immediately after you get done every time i self tan i feel like my hands look like this for 24 hours so hopefully i do a better job this weekend but not so great it'll be better tomorrow <laughs> the good news is that i feel like it's warmer out now than they were originally expecting it to be only gonna freeze later tonight i'm sure and the roads are not gonna be good like i said we're not gonna go anywhere uh the bad news is though is that my yard is like literally flooding water all over the sidewalk to get to my garage my yard will literally become an ice skating rink if it freezes tonight i hope it doesn't but who's to say okay, i'm home from picking the girls up from school and i am on hold with disney my little sister has to do like a video chat to get this DAS and she is gonna be over here any minute. Got my Amazon orders in and I'm annoyed because one of them is wrong. Ordered these ears for us all to match. So for me, the girls and two of my sisters and I needed one more pair to come today and they sent the wrong one. <laughs> the most first world problem of all time. So I wanna make that clear like really not very upset about it but they sent me these like little sailor ears and it was supposed to be this so now I don't have enough and I don't have time to order another one so we're not all going to match now I mean like me and the girls are but I don't have enough for my sisters now it's not a big deal they're not making me return these or anything and I just got my refund but um, I also ordered these I did not get these on Amazon um, I got these from the free people website the way home shorts and they look like this they're just like the ones with the super thick waistband a black pair of these a few weeks ago for Disney and I love them they like suck my mom gut in so well so I decided to get this bright red pair to wear one of the days at Disney and I ordered a large, so FYI, if you do wanna order these, I would size up. I usually get a medium in running shorts. My Target workout shorts that I love are medium and they're like very roomy, but these are larges and they fit perfect. So if you're gonna get these size up, I will link them for you. Put this stuff away quick and then my sister should be here um, and hopefully we can get this interview done. It's almost seven o'clock and I've just been on like full-time mom duty and I haven't vlogged. I got the girls in the bathtub, I got them out, I brushed their hair, I got them in pajamas, I made them dinner, we did all the things. And now they're upstairs in their room watching Trolls on the Cinemood, but it's about to die. So I need to go plug it, just tip myself. I need to go plug it in. They can just finish it because they started watching it last night before bed and I told them they could finish it tonight. So they have like 30-ish minutes left and then it's gonna be bedtime. If you don't know what a Cinemood is, it's just like a little, um, hi Pink Dog. It's just a little projector that connects to your phone and they can watch Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, stuff like that on it. I'll link it for you down below, they are expensive. They sent me one a couple years ago, but we have used it very consistently. Pink Dog, what are, what are we doing, bro? Hi, bud. <laughs> oh, boondog. It is 10.45 right now, which is late for me. I'm usually in bed by like 9.30, 10, pretty much every night. I've been on a roll editing this video and just working on a couple other things. Now I'm mad at myself for a couple different reasons. One, because I can't stop messing with this zit. 
it wasn't even bad before. It's just a little tiny zit. And now I've been picking and messing with it for two hours and now it's angry. But the main reason that I'm mad at myself is because I washed my sheets. I washed all of my bedding today and my sheets are dry and on the bed, but my comforter is huge and takes like such a long time to dry, such a long time. And whenever I wash it, I take it out of the washing machine and I hang it up on like my laundry hanger. I kind of like spread it out and let it air dry for a while. And then I put it in the dryer just because my dryer would be running for like hours if I just put it in there the whole time. So I let it air dry for a little bit and then I dry it. But I've been distracted with my computer and I never put my comforter in the dryer. And I'm so tired and ready for bed. And I was thinking like, okay, perfect. I got all these clips done. I'm gonna go to bed. No, the heck she's not because my comforter is still so wet. I guess I am going to get this whole video done and edited tonight. Comforter is probably not gonna be done for like at least an hour, which is so late for me, especially during the week. I can handle it maybe on the weekends, but during the week, that is pushing it. So I'm just gonna end this video here so I can add it into these clips and get it posted for you tomorrow morning. I have a lot of videos planned for the next couple weeks. I am not gonna take my computer to Disney. Um, we're just not gonna have enough downtime for me to bring my computer down there. But when I get back, I'm gonna have a lot of videos to post for you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very, very soon. Good night.